has that sound, yeah, yeah. Take these walls and rip them, rip them down. while since us motherfuckers have had a conversation yeah i miss looking into your eyes and seeing the absolute spectacle of awesome as it unfolds now we've been through an insurmountable amount of bullshit since we last met now haven't we yeah we talked about the trolls and the shills i'm through in the towel for a bit yeah motherfucker that's right but together, we have learned so much about ourselves and how to put certain aspects aside, how to set things on fire, and how to take a good beating. Yeah, we've learned about relationships with dipshits, morons, good people, and fans. Yeah, I got fans. I got fans who like me so much that they even try to impersonate me because they like me so damn much. They even pretend to be me and say really cool ass shit. But that's all right. <laughs> they ain't me, though. Let's change the subject. Some of these less than reputable folk out there, though, they would rather go around and spread each other's personal information and shit in a world where everyone pretty much already knows, or at the very least has the ability to find out anyway. Sounds kind of pointless, right? Well... As long as they think they're doing good, then I guess they're entitled to it. I've learned a lot. In this last year, I've learned a lot. I've learned some serious skills while I attempted to crank out cool ass shit. For one, well, hang on. I've made a list. And I prepared it for you. Here we go. For one, numbers are out of the question. Don't use numbers. Thanks to Gematria. Don't even think about using numbers. That shit will come back and bite you in the ass. Because numbers are your enemy. You will be flagged as a Luciferian gatekeeper or some other form of utensil that is delivering messages to your Luciferian brothers. And colors. Ah, oh, colors. They're also out of the question. Because you may be passively programming a motherfucker, and that shit ain't cool. Stick to pastels or black and white. Now, symbols on the other hand are a slippery slope. Man must do his research. Wait, I mean a man or a woman must do his or her research because symbols will always show what side you're on. Which side are you on? Stick to straight lines. No polygon is safe. Oh yeah, and don't be gender specific. Someone's bound to get pissed off. Geometry? That is too much like shapes, and it sounds like gematria, so don't go there either. And don't talk about the earth. Is it round, flat? Ah, god damn. Really, there isn't much we can do anymore, because everything you do will be analyzed, and you may find yourself in the hot seat. And nobody wants to be in the hot seat now, do they? Words are cool. Words are cool. As long as you remain gender in specific and don't talk about things that sound like things that other people say, don't say them drunk or high, and for certainly, don't have a general opinion. People hate that shit. Guess all I'm trying to say is, we can learn from this experience together. Take back our shapes, our polygons, our colors. We could rip gender specificity out of the woodwork and become human again. One day. We will be able to use numbers that don't reference some kind of 2,000-year-old Luciferian plot. Together, we can take back communication and expression. Together, yeah, we can take it all back. Let's take it all back, motherfucker. Together. Yeah.